There's a lot of foot traffic in Toronto, but if you don't get those pedestrians to come into your store, it's not worth anything. That's why retailers will go to great lengths to capture people's attention. But one option they haven't had so far is using a robot to do so. Well, Chinese manufacturer Gihan wants to change that. Welcome to All Hands on Tech. There's nothing quite like a dancing robot to catch people's attention. And that's exactly what Kihan has made here with Sandbot. A three foot tall humanoid form, Sandbot wheels around and belts out music from a powerful speaker system. It has two emotive eyes on a head and touch sensors all around its body. So it can react to a pat on the head or a tap on the arm. Once Sandbot catches the attention of your potential customer, the interaction continues. Owners can program it to respond to customer questions about the store. Its conversational talents are supplied by IBM Watson's natural language processing. At the high-tech conference in Toronto, this is the only Sandbot model in Canada right now. But an army of these hospitality-minded robots are already a familiar sight across Asia. It's seen in malls, hospitals, schools, and even homes. Just ask Spencer Block, International Marketing Manager at Kihan, about his local neighborhood Sandbot. Near where I work in Shenzhen, there is a mall and there's a big food court area and actually one of the restaurants has Sandbot outside of its stores and it's promoting, you know, food deals, you know, maybe a buy one, get one free, or, uh, you know, click here for a reservation. So it's just promoting uh, the restaurant outside to attract foot traffic because there's, you know, a lot of restaurants in that mall. Sandbot can do more than just hold down a conversation. A projector conveniently built into its head can display 720p video. This little droid also doubles as a security guard with both a 3D camera and an HD camera to keep an eye on things. If it detects any unexpected after hours visitors, it could alert a store owner. And on its chest, a 10.1 inch Android powered tablet offers access to any apps in Google Play. Kihan is encouraging developers to create more apps specifically for Sandbot. Sandbot has a battery time of about four hours, but it will recharge itself when needed. All of this can be controlled with the Q-Link smartphone app or with a web-based dashboard. A company could even issue commands to a fleet of Sandbots with Kihan's cloud-based platform. Robots in stores might not be a familiar sight yet, but Kihan is looking to open the right doors in Canada to change that. Distributors that could help us distribute Sandbot throughout Canada or uh, North America, including like the United States and Mexico. We would also, you know, developers that maybe have software that they would like to uh, put onto Sandbot to sort of have like a robot with their software in it could be something that the market would like or a VAR to the value added reseller. So maybe they have something they would like to add onto Sandbot and then resell it. And of course, people who are prominent in the vertical industries that we are selling to. But as of now, this is not a consumer level robot. You cannot go into you know, Best Buy and get it off the shelf. Wherever we sell Sandbot to, it's to help better people's lives through technology. It's to help stores or hotels or any other establishment uh, increase their profits and to make people's, ex you know, give people a new exciting experience. So don't be surprised if one day soon you're walking through the mall and this dancing robot catches your attention. Thanks for watching All Hands on Tech. I'm Brian Jackson. Remember to subscribe to our channel and like this video.